Today, we are getting <laughs> another baby into our home. She is, first off, she's a she. I can't believe this. I've been saying so long, I don't want any girls, I don't want any girls. And now I'm gonna have two. And I'm telling you what, it's been so beautiful having a little girl here in the home. So let's get this thing started. Um, I got a call from someone. Actually, I got a message from someone and then I called the social worker and <clears throat> mm, talked to the social worker. Um, and then they got, I got them in contact with my agency because um, when a worker calls me or I get a message to call them, um, they, uh, I always need to send them directly to my agency so they can do uh, all the legwork and get the paperwork together and things like that. So. They did all that last night. She is coming today. We're gonna to pick her up from the hospital. I love picking up the babies from the hospital because I don't know, I feel like you're getting this like super fresh start with them and you can pick them up and like they're finally leaving the hospital, leaving the NICU. And it's just like, you could just like shower them with love. Um, so it's really cool. So we're gonna do that. Amy is gonna come over. We're gonna take her car. Uh, drive to the hospital. She's gonna take care of baby A while I'm picking up the baby in the hospital. This is why it's so cool to have friends that are supporting you. Like, there's, it's just really, really cool. So thank you, Amy. Um, and we're gonna go to the hospital and uh, pick her up and then come home. And again, start it all over. Uh, so I'm excited. So I'll keep you guys posted on all of this. It's gonna be fun, okay? Let's go. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this. <laughs> Why do I get so excited every time? It's like I've never done this before. And I, this is the seventh baby, and I'm always so freaking excited. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay, guys. I think it's about time I go shopping again because all of her clothing is, like, <laughs> newborn. <clears throat> and this is the thing, like... The preemie babies, they're just like so small in the beginning. And then they just like, boom, grow out of nowhere. So oftentimes, I wanted to wear this, but it's super boyish. Um, oftentimes I will have to put them in newborn or preemie for a long time, more than like your average baby. Cause like, think about it, she's turning four months and she was using newborn until well into three months. And then they just kind of like, boom, R did the same thing. They just grow out of nowhere. And now I don't have any like clothes that are like really gonna fit her. So time to go shopping again, right? I'm not gonna lie though. I don't know how much I really enjoy shopping for all the baby clothes just because really what it is, is it bothers me that they grow so quickly and you spend all this money on clothing and then they grow so quickly. And there's a lot of people who want to get me stuff, but, and I'll take it, but the issue is, what are you making all that noise for down there, huh? The issue is, um, uh, I have to spend money on them. Like, I have to spend a certain amount of money every, oh, this is cute. So adorable. Oops. Every, um, oh my God. This is, okay, we're gonna do this one. It's so freaking cute. Every month, I have to spend money on them for clothing, so. I gotta do it. You gotta do it. All right, let me get her dressed. You ready to wear this? How freaking cute. Let me get you guys better lighting. Oh my gosh. <sighs> <sighs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> I just farted and it was so amazing. And Amy's here. <laughs> and she laughed. <laughs> it was like, but then it was like a grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just waiting. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. So, talked to the worker a little earlier today. They're waiting on the social worker at the hospital to get back in touch with them so they can give me my, give, so she can give them my ID and then I can go pick up the baby. It is one o'clock. I don't know why it feels like it's four o'clock to me. Amy says it's more like three o'clock. 
we always know that I'm right, so it's more like four o'clock. And <laughs> um, they've already spoken to my agency, got everything taken care of, but you never, ever, ever know. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know when we know more. <laughs> wait, do it again. Do that. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter because you're really in front of me. <laughs> I mean, you're really here. If I do it, I'm not really in front of you. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the <laughs> so thing stupid. About it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm <clears throat> still waiting, and I'm like, oh my gosh, come on. So, um,. I just sent her a message and I just sent her a text message and I asked her if she's gotten in touch with the hospital for me to go pick up the little girl. Um, haven't heard back yet. These are kind of those moments where you're like, oh gosh, I hope like something didn't fall through. And it's not so much like, oh, I really want this placement. It's just like the build up to it and getting the agencies involved and, and everything that has to be done for things to fall through. And it's just like, oh, goodness. But I'm sure um, it'll all be fine. I'm sure everything's going to work out. So um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh. All right, here we go. We're on our way. We finally got the call. Agency is aware, everyone's aware. We're headed to go pick her up. So we've got a little lady in here, and then we've got the extra car seat down there. So we're gonna get everything out of my car, put it in, and just not everything. We're gonna, we gotta move some stuff from Amy's car to mine, and then move the car seats from my car to Amy's, and then get to the hospital. We're going to Santa Monica. <gasps> Oh my gosh. We're going to Santa Monica for the hospital. I'm not sure of the name of the hospital, but I do know where it's at. Other than that, you excited, little lady? Are you excited? Huh? She's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, two girls. What? <sighs> what? She had to fix her hair, hair before well, I Well, and you can tell, I mean, it wasn't, <laughs> didn't do much. <laughs> okay, I'm driving Amy's car. And we're excited. <laughs> On our way. How do we shut this? That's better lighting. Okay, so we're going to Santa Monica, like I said. Amy's gonna take care of baby A. I'm gonna go pick up baby B. And what a day. What, what a uh okay, I just had to stop. I'm over here editing this video. And this woman right here. I don't think anyone quite understands how much Amy has been so supportive to me and all of the children that have been through my home. Like, Amy and I met at Starbucks, and especially when baby A was going through the NICU, this woman stepped up like, like a friend should step up. And just like going to pick up baby E and just taking care of baby A so much. I know she loves the babies and it's a way that she can experience the babies as well, but she doesn't have to do it. And to me, that's real friendship. Amy, thank you. Like truly, thank you, I love you. Thank you for supporting me, for supporting the babies. I don't know any other way to say it other than like to take what I love, this channel, and publicly say thank you. It just means the world. Yay! Yay! Something else happened today I don't want to talk about, uh, but two thumbs up. And then now we're going to pick her up. And exciting. Okay, I'm going to go. We're going to go. <laughs> I'll touch you over there. I'll touch Bye. you. I'll video y'all when we're there. <laughs> okay, we're at the hospital. We're picking her up. I don't want to be on my phone too long because it's all private stuff, but I'm in the elevator. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you what, this stuff puts so much into perspective. Um, I can't, I 
can't and I would not share her story, but just like, <clears throat> when you are faced with human life, literally in your hands, and then walking into these NICUs and things and seeing these babies, it's just like, oh, the reoccurring thing that I think of is, what a way to start a life. What a way to start life. Like, it's just, it's just crazy. And then I think about like, it's a beautiful thing that God has allowed me to help, to help these lives. I don't know, man. Guess who we have home? Baby E. <laughs> She's so tiny. Oh my God. Look how tiny she is. Oh, little baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, here's pretty dark outside. Whew, what a day. I am feeding baby A. Look how big she's getting, y'all. It's crazy because as I pick up baby E and she weighs... Baby A was, and I, it's like, I remember her at that age, and I think it's because I went through the NICU and everything with her, so I just remember her so vividly, so tiny. But like, when <laughs> it's like face in front of you, it's just like, whoa, crazy. Can Now I can see the difference in the two of them. And, and Baby A is really small. Like, she's not, she's on, she's not huge. So she is, E is sleeping right now. Um, feeding A, she just recently woke up, and then I'm going to actually get her to bed, um, and, because it is just after 8, I believe, um, get her to bed, and feed, uh, E, while I'm feeding her, I got myself some Velveeta and cheese, so, okay, it, I'm not supposed to eat gluten, the cheese is super synthetic, I'm sure. It ain't good for y'all. It ain't good for y'all. But it was a long day, and I deserve it. So I'm gonna do it. Um, and then I'm just gonna like get get baby A to bed, feed baby E, make my food while I'm feeding her. She'll pass back out, I'm sure. And then I'll have a couple hours before I have to feed her again. I'm gonna do some work. I got a couple emails to send. And then I'm gonna chill. Um, and just like zone out. So let me finish her and then we'll get we'll get things rolling with uh, E and everything. Oh, baby, 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 we know. We know, she's a talker. I'm actually watching a police chase that's happening in San Fernando. Oh no, now it's downtown LA. We gotta change this diaper. She pooped on me earlier, like, it was gross. Not gonna lie, it was gross. There you go. Baby A is asleep. I am going to change this diaper. Because it's wet. So there's a little trick. You take their arms, right? You take their onesie, wrap them up. I saw that on YouTube some one time. All right, I'm gonna power through this diaper change real quick and get her swaddled up. And I think she just ate. Oh, oh. I'm watching on my iPad. Please, Chase. It's okay. All right, let's do this. Where's the diaper? What the heck happened to the diaper? Oh. So, yeah, you know, she's a good girl. She's quiet. She's quiet unless she, oh, come on now, I need to get my tripod back out. Ah, there we go. That's gonna have to work, guys. Um, she's quiet 
unless she wants to eat or like, she, I mean, no baby wants to be bothered. She doesn't want her diaper changed. They all just want to be warm, swaddled and sleeping. But unfortunately we got stuff to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna swaddle her back up. Here we go. One over like that. Nice and tight. I know. But you're gonna love it once we're done. I like to make sure that their legs aren't too crunched. Um, I want them to be able to have some room to like push their legs out if they want. But for the most part, she's super young, so keep her nice and tight. Like this, let's get a nice crease in there. Fold it over. Boom, boom, da boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. That's not the best swaddle, but it's okay. So I think that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to, I got her swaddled up. I'm going to put her in the little bassinet in here with me. Baby A is asleep. I'm gonna eat some Velveeta. Gosh, I'm so excited for that. And um, so my friend is gonna pick up baby A and watch her tomorrow night. And then, um, What's that face for? Huh? Um, and then I'm gonna... Uh, then she's gonna also watch her when I go to church in the morning on Sunday. When I get a new baby, I don't like to bring both of them to church or like if there's an event or something I have to go to right away. Because I don't know the new baby. So... I'm gonna take baby E to church with me. And then because my friend knows baby A so well, um, she's gonna watch her. Um, uh, and that's how that's gonna go on Sunday. And then, um, yeah. Let's get to know you, yeah? We gonna get to know you? Mm-hmm. She's just looking around. All right, guys. I'm tired, I'm not gonna lie, it's like after 10 o'clock. I have videos. I literally have videos, but so much keeps happening, happening that like all the videos get pushed back. I have like a video of me babysitting baby R, baby A. Well, not babysitting them. So I had baby R, baby A, and then I was babysitting another baby, a friend's baby. I gotta get that finished and get that up. But like, I, I gotta post this video. So this is gonna go up now. And then, and then I have a, baby, a video of baby A the first time we took her swimming, which is so cute. But I'm not gonna post that because I wanna post this this weekend. So you guys got this this weekend. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. I gotta eat. And then I got some emails to go, to go, go through this client I'm working with. So good night. I love you guys.